and uh, them other people, their their cousins or what, Chinese can't use them. Now we're fighting them right now, and now's the time to collect them. They don't do nothing; they just hide every place. But there's always one someplace. I mean, you can go someplace. You can go to Albuquerque and find a Chinaman. Got his own restaurant. They got money. They don't pay taxes. I've never seen a Chinaman yet paid no taxes. And I'm not sending my clothes to none of them. Nowhere. Because I've never seen a Chinaman smile. You never see them smile. They're arrogant and they look at you like you're supposed to bring your shirt there. And that's why I don't bring it. When I see them, I just spit. Now's the time you could collect all of them, the Japs and the Chinks, and put them in the thing. I mean, you know, I to, no bloodshed or nothing like that, because I'm against it. Just put them off to the side, put the fence around it, see? You could have them all there. You could get them Irish, you could get them Italians, you could get them Mexicans, the uh, Puerto Ricans and the niggers, uh, pardon me, you could get the, the colored and the Scottish and put all of them in there, see? Now, I did have a friend who was uh, of Polish extraction, but he's so damn dumb, I didn't know what to do with him. So I just, I told him, I said, look, he's all right, but you can't figure nothing out, and you're always uh, wrong when you say something, so just get out, see? Now, um, I mean, the Polish people have never done me no harm, but if you look at where they live, you know there's something wrong with them. Just look at it. There's squalor and dirt all around wherever they are. So I don't, I, don't, uh, I mean, I have nothing against them at all. But I just, uh, I just think that they need to go too. Get rid of the Polish people and uh, put them off, you see, to a side where they can behave themselves. I've never cared for no Greeks, because that's all they do is uh, they want to throw plates and dance, men dance together. I've never put up with that, never cared for it. All of them need to be put off someplace and make this a better land, land of peace. Now, as far as I'm concerned, yes, it's true. Indians was here first. But this is survival of the fittest. And the Indians wasn't fit. See? Uh, I mean, this whole life itself is, is a game of who has what. Now, if the Indian wanted to keep his land, he should have got a gun instead of a bow and arrow uh, and riding barebacks. He should have got himself a cavalry and some tanks and things. But, you see, they didn't have sense enough to do that, so they lost. Now, that's it. Indians, quit begging. And the next thing, they can't handle liquor, so they got no business being here in America anyway. If they just be quiet and just leave things alone, I could give them something every now and then. But uh, I've never been in favor of them, no place, because uh, they're weak people. And when you figure it out, it is survival of the fittest. If you cannot protect what's yours and I want it, if you lose to me, that's it. And then forget it. They need to just, just put them off someplace. Now, I've been to the South, and I've seen it. And it's pitiful, all of it. I haven't seen a, a Southerner that wasn't ignorant yet. All of them, black, white, green, red. Every Southerner, ignorant, talk slow, got to draw and do y'all this. I can't understand the thing they're saying. They don't have no heavy industry down there. I don't wear no cotton. I smoke tobacco 
but that don't come from the South. And they always want to wave a flag, wave a flag, talking about the South shall rise again. Survival of the fittest, you lost, you'll lose again. Not rise again, you'll lose again. They need to take all them Southerners and just get rid of them, put them off someplace because they're embarrassing. When people come from other countries to visit dignitaries, we try not to show them the South because the people there are just ignorant. Everything about them is ignorant. They yell loud and, uh, and drink too much. And you go across here to, uh, to the Midwest, and that's embarrassing. All Midwesterners, embarrassing people. Nothing but Bibles. God this, God that, Jesus this, Jesus that. That's all they believe in. And ain't nothing there. Ain't nothing there in the Midwest. People don't know nothing about nothing except going to tent meetings. That's all they know about. Afraid to face reality. You say something about the Bible, they jump right up and want to hurt you or something. See, they violent people. Talk about the Bible and want to be violent. That's no way to live. They should take them and put them off someplace. I mean, don't shed no blood or nothing like that. Easterners just as bad. Worse. Greatest sinners in the world. Got cities just jammed up, people yelling and screaming at each other. I couldn't live there. I wouldn't even never go there. Overcharge you for everything. Say, this is good, that's good. The air is bad. They got nothing but smog forever. You can't breathe. They got the, the, the niggers running half of the cities. The, the Italians are running half of it. The Irish running the other half, and the Polish is running the other half, and the Scottish running it, and the Irish and the Puerto Ricans is running it. Mexicans running these cities, and look at them. Squalor, dirt, and filth. That's all that's there. Go on up there in New England, people up there just living the same way as when they landed at Plymouth Rock. Some of them don't even have sense enough to know how to drive. Don't have cars. Just all want to pay attention to their religion. Religious this, religious that. You got to be a man. Get up and live. Now, I've got nothing against Jesus. I've got nothing against God. All I say is you shouldn't be so dependent upon them. I did this with my own hands. I did it myself. I didn't ask nobody for nothing, and I don't need it. You don't need, we need to get rid of women too. Now there's all right for a while, but uh, lately I've been reading what they're saying and I don't need them. I don't need no woman to have me uh, washing dishes or wa watching the baby, things of that nature. No indeed, not me. Now if a woman wants to be like that, let her go on off. I don't care. I couldn't care less. I mean, if they want to prove something to me, let one of them knock me out. They can't do it. They know they're not as strong as we are. What is it that they want? Now, they was put here to have babies. That's all. Put here to have babies, wash dishes. I'll go out, make the money, and bring it in if I feel like it. But see, I did all this with my hands. Ain't a woman yet can put up a building. I know that. They can't build nothing. How's a woman going to run something? How's a woman going to be president of the United States? Somebody say, we're at war, she start to cry. So they need to take them. Them that don't want to have babies, them that feel embarrassed because man wants to take them out and, 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 and say, them that says that they're, they're not pieces of flesh. No, they're not pieces of flesh. But if I want to take one out, I'm going to take her out. I buy the dinner, she didn't pay for it. I expect some in return. I give them whatever they want, but I ain't gonna give them all that. Need to put them aside, all them crazy women. Need to get rid of everybody, clean this country up. What this country needs is a good flushing out. Flush it away from all these people, all of them, all the groups, begging. Give me this, give me that, give me this, give me that. 
Say, act like the country is God or Jesus. Oh, give me this. Oh, give me that. And then you look around and ain't one of them willing to work for nothing. Niggas ain't willing to work. Jews don't want to work for it. And when they do get something, they want to keep it. And them Puerto Ricans, Mexican, all of them, you can get rid of every single one of them. I couldn't care less. Now, I don't want to do these people no harm. I wouldn't do them no harm. But I know one thing. When I see them, I spit. And give a good spit, too. Because ain't none of them worth nothing. Not one single one. And that's why I'm proud to be what I am. I'm what? I'm a bigot. There ain't but two of us left. And I don't care for him. <laughs>